Poor Lily. She's been through a lot. I understand. Well, you know, I want to check on her first, but you know who we need to check on? We need to check on Clem. She's the most important person to us. That is assuming, you know, we can check on her. Aw, did she draw that? That's actually kind of adorable. I'm going to appraise her as soon as I find her. Let's see. It's not here. That's RV. We can look at that. I need to find Clementine. Where is she? Or do I have to talk to all the adults? Is that what I got to do? I don't ha get an option here. Oh, there you are. Where's Duck? Speaking of which... Hey, Clementine. Hey, Lee. What What's you doing? What you working on, Clem? It's called a leaf rubbing. My teacher, Miss Moore, showed us how to do them when we went to the botanical garden once. Aww. See? It's the same. Um, kind of. Ah, oh, that's really something. I'll make one for you, too. Do you like it here? I don't like it here. Do you want to leave? Where are we going? Somewhere else. I don't know. Maybe if I knew where? Yeah. That'd be a good thing to know. I'll talk to you later, Clem. Okay. I will. I'm going to talk to everyone first, and then I will talk to Clem. All right, let's see. Did they repair that? Looks like they did. Okay. Um, I'll talk to them after. I'm going to go talk to Lily. Actually, I get the feeling as soon as I enter that it's gonna cause another scene so I should talk to Kenny hey you two how are you doing we're okay just having a little spat we all carry guns now and I don't like it it's the way it's got to be I know but I'm not getting used to it I'm sorry how are you Lee uh... you guys uh, trust everyone here more or less I obviously have my problems with Lily, but I don't distrust her. Yeah, we can't turn on each other any more than we have. Fair enough. About the guns. Don't you start. I just wanted to say, Cat, it's probably good they make you uncomfortable. Thank you, Lee. <sighs> but we need them. There's no doubt about that. Ah, uh, should I? Okay. You need to try harder with Lily. You guys gotta straighten this out. I don't know how straight we can get it, given all that's happened. So what then? Time will come we'll have to do what's best for our families. And that's what we'll do. I'll talk to you later. I don't wanna... I don't wanna put that last option, but I feel like... I feel like it needs to be confronted. It's better to talk about your problems openly than, you know, hide them and bottle them up and then let them explode later on. Anyways, Ben. Hey, Ben. What's up, Lee? Have you seen anything weird on the watch? Is there anybody out there up to anything? Nope. Really quiet. Really? Yeah, totally. Which is good. Did you ever come down here to making much? I didn't have much reason to. My parents would let me take the car into the city on the weekend, but what's in Macon? It's kind of a waste of time compared to Atlanta. I grew up in Macon. Oh, I didn't mean to say it's crappy or anything. <laughs> it's super nice. I mean, not now, but I bet it was. Is... <laughs> ben, you son of a gun. What do you think about Lily? She scares the crap out of me. That's a reasonable thing to feel. I'm just worried she's going to snap. Talk to you later, Ben. Bye. Well, it looks like she's got a... Uh... She installed fear into Ben. Let's talk to Doug. Hey, Doug. He's our BFF. Hiya. What are you working on? I'm just trying to focus on the wall. Anything I'd like to contribute needs batteries or tools I just don't have. I'm tearing down this furniture to patch up the wall. If we go on like this, we'll have half the Travelier piled up out here before we know it. The wall's important. I guess. I feel worthless on watch because I'm not wild about guns, and I just wish I was more helpful. Do you feel safe here? Hmm. 
Faith has always been a bit of an elusive thing for me. I mean at the motel, as opposed to finding somewhere new. I think if we can get whoever is out there to leave us alone, this is a good place to be. And you know, they sort of stopped attacking. Maybe they forgot about us. What do you think about Lily? Dark. I don't know. I guess I'm sad. Nobody deserves to lose their parent like that. You don't think that would make her delusional, do you? I think it could make you anything. Nothing good. I'll catch you later, Doug. I think that was an appropriate response from Doug. Sounds like Kenny actually has that thing running. I'll believe it when I see it. <laughs> I'm kind of with, uh... Lee there, so I take it we actually do have to talk to Lily, so I'm glad I saved her for last, because I get the feeling I'm just going to move everything, and I don't want to do that yet. What do you think about Doug? He's cool. Cool? He knows things. You don't think he seems down? Like sad? Yeah. Everyone is. You? I'm okay. I'll talk to you later, Clem. Okay. <laughs> I love her cherry disposition. It makes just makes you feel good about everything. Um, can we actually find Duck? I would. Uh, oh, okay. I don't think we can. Why is there a box around Lee? Do you see it? It's like there's like this string box that moves, huh? Oh well. Um, let's check. It's room. I guess we should enter. I'm sorry. You don't have to apologize. Did you come in here to give me hell or to coddle me? I wanted to follow up on what you said about stolen supplies. Do you know what's going on? I don't. I just heard you mention it. Things are missing, and I could use your help. There's a traitor. Somebody, one of us, out there. He or she or they have been taking things. For real? Who? What do you got? Yes, for real. And I don't have shit. I just know. Lily. It counts off and it's the good stuff. Antibiotics, oxy, fuck, anything with opium in it. I see the count, and it's fine. I keep my own. That one's getting messed with. I'm a fucking mess right now, but I'm not stupid. I know what happens if I start a witch hunt. So you want me to start one? I want you to poke around. What's there to go on? I found this tossed into the garbage. Huh. We don't toss out equipment, we fix it. You'd only try to get rid of a flashlight if you were using it when you shouldn't. Seems like you're manufacturing this from nothing. Prove me wrong. I'd really appreciate it. A mystery. Jesus, Doc. I'm sorry. Um, I heard you guys talking. You need to unhear all of that. Can I help? What did I just say? You're the Grace Detective, and I can be Dick Grayson, your ward. That's Robin. I know who it is. <laughs> uh... Okay, you're Robin. Yes. What do I do? I, I don't know. Go look around. Let me know if you find anything weird. I'm on the case. You want to know what I think, viewers? I think Duck staged this so that he could actually come out looking like he's a hero or something. Maybe to impress, I don't know, Clementine? Should I really ask her about the broken flashlight? Because I get the feeling that she'd be like, what? I feel like Kenny and Kat would be like, what? I feel like Ben would be like, what? Unless, you know, he's actually stealing all these meds. I feel like Doug might know something. So I'm hey, going to question him. Hiya. Do you know anything about this flashlight? Well, I can tell Ooh, you- Wait, 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 wait. I know you know everything about this flashlight. I'm asking if you know how it got busted. 
Lily found it in the dumpster. Oh, no, no, I don't. I'll keep my eye out for some suitable parts, though. That'll give me something useful to do. All right, fair enough. I like how Leah actually had to elaborate on the situation because Doug was going to go on a tantrum. The flashlight was broken. Was it you? No. You're not in trouble if it was. I know you get nervous and maybe you went out to go to the bathroom, broke it, got worried and tossed it. What's with the third degree? I didn't break any flashlight. Okay, then. Just making sure, Ben. Just making sure. I hate to question them, but... Do you guys know anything about this broken flashlight? Fuck. We don't got many of those. Yeah, it's a problem. The glass and the bulb are all busted out. I saw some broken glass over by the ice machine. I meant to clean it up before the kids hurt themselves on it. I forgot, though. Oh, wow, cat. That might actually be a good clue. Thank you. Thank you. You know what? Just for full cover, let's ask Clem. Hey, Clementine. Hey, Lee. You didn't accidentally break a flashlight, did you? No. Did Duck say I did? No. Did uh, Duck break the flashlight? I don't think so. He's just always blaming me for stuff. Aww. Like what? Putting a bug on his pillow. Did you do that? Yes. <laughs> <laughs> oh, Clementine, you sneaky, you sneaky devil. All right, let's see. Ice machine. Wait, the ice machine wasn't that way. I remember Glenn was hiding in it, and we went all the way over here. It was like all the way at, towards the entrance. Yeah. I remember the ice machine. Not very well, but I remember it. There's some broken glass on the ground there. Yeah, that definitely seems suspicious. Oh, maybe I should actually, you know, grab some. There's something drawn there. Uh-oh. Hmm. Chalk. Pink. Hmm. Duck. A clue. Maybe. What do you think it is? I don't think it's anything. Maybe it's a sign. It could be. It's pink chalk, which is weird. Okay, back to investigating. First clue is Clementine. Somehow, I don't think she would do this, but we have to question her about does she have any pink chalk, and she's probably going to be like, no, I read out of that like three weeks ago, and I'm going to be like, well, then how the hell is there pink chalk? Talk to Clementine. Do uh, you have any pink chalk? No, it's gone somewhere. Hmm. Do you want blue? No, no, it's okay. Psst, Lee. I found something. What is it? I found this piece of pink chalk and a scuff of it over by the gate. Really? Totally. I was calling the scene for clues Yeah, and... Duck, I got it. Good job. <laughs> Just had to give him the high five. Okay, let's see. Mm. Somebody was over here, too. See? I did good, huh? Yeah, Duck. You did. I suppose I should go out there and look around. You stay here this time. Seriously. Okay. All right. I guess I have no choice but to actually go outside and investigate. Alright, let's see. I can't go very far, so look at the fence. Those bandits gave us hell, but they've been quiet for days now. They've been trying to get some oxycodone. I mean, I guess, really, who could you blame? There's a this... great down there. There's, uh, there's some supplies in there, isn't there? <laughs> 
Someone's been keeping them quiet so they uh, they don't actually hurt us. Someone's been giving the supplies. Gotcha. 